back to Freaky Rip Live. My name is Janesh. We are watching back again King of the Hill season 4 episode uh, 19. It's called Hank's Bad Hair Day. Hank's Bad Hair Day. Does Hank really care about his hair that much? I don't think so. Hank's like man man, you know? He doesn't care about hair and sh He got much more greater things to think about, you know, like mowing the lawn, cutting the wood. Who's gonna do that? Hank, taking care of the family, you know, kicking Luan out of the house. Hanks, that's Hank's job. So I don't think he's gonna care about having a bad hair day, but uh, most probably I'm gonna be proven wrong. And let's see how. If you're not subscribed, please hit subscribe. And if you wanna watch a full and reaction video this episode of the movies and TV shows that I do, you can head down to my Patreon. Wonderful way to support the channel and get early access to all of my videos over there. What the f was that bitch? I did. Never mind. I'm gonna start this in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Who's getting chocolate milk if he sits still? I'm getting <laughs> chocolate milk if Hell I... yeah. <laughs> Bobby, you're not sitting still. Uh, hey, Bobby, how'd you like to come oh, to the barber yeah. shop with me tomorrow? I don't think it's up to you, Hank. <laughs> what? Why? Or you, Bobby. Peggy, <laughs> you've put in 12 great years cutting Bobby's hair. Maybe she enjoys it. But Bobby's a big boy now, and I think he can handle seeing those copies of Esquire Jack has lying around. <laughs> I get to go to Jack? Bobby, okay. you start going to him now, maybe in a couple of years. You <laughs> why is Peggy <laughs> why is Peggy so concerned about it? Haircut, Mom. We'll talk about it over chocolate milk. Chocolate milk? <laughs> oh no. You're much too big a boy for chocolate milk. Oh, hey Peggy, that was that was not right. <clears throat> that fucking bitch. Hey, Jack. So what'll it be? Milk. The Roger Dude, Starback no or the rookie Roger Starback? <laughs> well, I think I'll just uh, have the same haircut I've gotten every two weeks for the past 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> is that the Starback or, or the rookie Starback? Uh, is that your the regular? Starback. Is that I can't do that. <laughs> I don't have a stapler. What the fuck? Stapler? What the fuck is he talking about? Uh, bzz, bzz, the, the, the thing you use. Uh, takes off the hair. Where has Hank been going all this time for his haircut? Brain check. No problem. <laughs> Give my best to Marcy. Uh, okay. Yeah, Hank, I think he's going to ruin the hair. Right. Now I know what you mean by bad hair. He didn't care about like his hair being mad. Maybe this gonna fucking guy going to ruin it. Come on, let's go, Bobby. Not so fast. You what? sat nice and still. Uh, Here you go. Uh, I'll uh, okay. save it for later, how about? <laughs> Start Is licking. That a lollipop, too? All right. <laughs> Here's a picture ago? of you with normal hair mowing your lawn three months ago. Why do you have that picture? A load of you at the post office minutes ago. See the guy in the beard pointing and laughing at your head? That's, That's me. me. <laughs> well, no one else. Then who took the picture? Who the fuck does he have somebody to pay, that he pays to take picture for? Feathered in the back where he usually tapers. I find it unsubtle, but it's a way to also, go. Also, why not ask Bill? Bill gets a hairdresser. Have a seat, Hank. My 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 11 o'clock canceled. Uh, Jack, this is tough to say. I'm not the kind of person who would ask for any special treatment. I think you And I still tired. consider you a friend, but I'm not completely satisfied with my haircut. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to ask you for a free touch-up. You son of a oh, bitch. Shit. Slow down, Jack. How can he? How can he? To be honest, I don't know. Have you guys ever done this? When I was a kid and my... Or even like in high school uh, or college. When Baba used to fuck up my hair, I used to... And used to say, oh, looks perfect, looks perfect. I, don't, I used to just agree with it. I'm like, what the fuck can you do anymore? If, if I say no, neither one of us will be happy. <laughs> I just gotta agree that this is shitty hair. So you just say, yeah, it is all right. So Hank coming back saying his shitty hair... Takes too much confidence. You're going back into work, aren't you? Lunchtime haircut, you take off your shirt. <laughs> it's so white. Okay, it's gonna ruin it more, isn't it? Turn on the side. Wait right here. <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck is what is that guy? <laughs> what is that guy? 
It, it's okay, everybody. What it, it's oh, me, shit. Hank Hill, assistant oh, manager. Look at that. Continue yeah. with your business as if everything were normal. I'll be working with my door closed for obvious reasons. Uh, what are the reasons? Hey, who got that door closed? <laughs> look at that. God, Hank. <laughs> You look like he's, that fella killed the other fella. He's, he's Sir, I don't like to point fingers, but my barber is... Well, I did ask for a free touch-up. No. <laughs> Can't pay you for today. Now take the what? afternoon off and turn your hair back to a boy's well, color. You can be in a cap or something. <laughs> you look like a rock star. What is it? Have a seat, Hank. I'll be with you as soon as I'm done with this gentleman. Uh, okay, he has lost it. He has lost it. I can't stand dealing with the jackasses anymore. You were one of the good ones, Hank. But your kid's a jackass. <laughs> what? He didn't do anything. What? <laughs> His kid didn't do anything. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He should have to stay at home, I suppose. <sighs> McMainerberry has to have a late night barber shop. Come All on, he has Bill. one, Hank. Bill. And it's closer than you think. Come on, let's go. Hey, do you know anything about Don't. dying hair? What's Don't to know? <sighs> Luan! Luan knows everything about dying hair. Hank, I never cut civilian hair, but I've been looking at your head a long time. <laughs> Don't do this, Bill. Trust me, it's not easy being my barber. I know that. Aww. You got those big, He's... thick neck muscles that nod up when you're tense, leaving that deep. He just wants to help. Look. Seems like there's a story See, there. Knows. You never shared it with me, but that's okay. Because you might think I'm a gossip, and I probably am, but how the hell would you know if I'm a bad barber? He's the same way with me. You're an amateur, Peggy. <laughs> he never said anything more truth. <laughs> See this? You're calling me an idiot! God damn, I've never seen Bill angry like that. Bill, how's it going to be in the alley if you screw it up? I can do it, Hank. Well, you don't talk to each other for a day or two and then you'll be fine. I need your <laughs> earliest appointment. I got a 5 a.m. and a 5.30, but I can squeeze you in at 6. Okay, All then. Right. Okay, then. Why don't do it now? What are you doing? He's a good friend, too. Look at that, Bill. He cared for Hank. Cared enough to, you know, have a fight with him just so he can make him better. And he's, look at that, he's studying. He's fucking studying here. Head. Uh, Bill? Hank? Oh, let's go, oh, Hank. Hank. He'll be fine. You see, Bill will do the best job ever. Look at that. Fucking good as new. How's that? Oh, good as the same old, same old. That's good. Well, that's that's Jack good. Yeah. That's the haircut I want for the Strickland propane Christmas there card. There we go. You did it, buddy. Ah, oh, he's so proud. <laughs> Two weeks for the next twenty-five years. What do I owe you? No, Nothing. no, Hank, you get, this one's on me. If I could just keep the hair. No, no, this. I can just keep the hair. I insist. It, geez, I ain't got. I don't even think I have a cash register. <laughs> Hank Hill always pays his barber. Now, are you my barber or not? I'll yes. find a way to charge you. I promise. I'll fill out all the proper forms and get the ball rolling. Well, great. And he I know way how he can pay Bill. Get Peggy to humiliate him. That's his kink. He would love it. Do not wish to subscribe to your publication. <laughs> huh. Something from the U.S. Army. Hope I'm not drafted. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh. It's from Bill. Nine hundred dollars. Dollars for a haircut? Damn it, Bill. Ugh. And I'm sitting here cutting coupons. <laughs> I'm trying to save money. He's spending nine hundred dollars on a haircut. I wish this bill were a mistake, Mr. Hill. But that is how much it costs the army to give someone a haircut. What the fuck? We pay eighty thousand dollars for each military grade barber chair. The French make a chair. I thought you said you're gonna pay that much more money to Bill. Gonna pay one hundred and ten thousand dollars for a barber chair. Wasting Nine all that money is dollars. like buying a haircut for Saddam Hussein, <laughs> and I hate Saddam Hussein. I like his haircut, but that's it. It is a very nice haircut. <laughs> Nine hundred dollars? What the fuck? I'm sorry, Hank. I had no idea I was that valuable. I was that valuable? They don't pay you that much. Ah, uh, you never even read it. 
I'd go see him in person, but no self-respecting bus company would let me on with hair like this. <laughs> I don't think they care, Hank. Well, it's taxes. You never know. You never know. <laughs> hey, Hank, I'm going to raise that money for you. Can you do better on the ice crusher? The Not ice under crusher firm. Oh, my God. It only takes one. Don't do it, Dale. I'm not paying $900 for that haircut. <laughs> this stuff. What? This, this hair is shit. A compound miter saw. I thought you said I did a good job. But yeah. what kind of no, fool would pay $900 for a haircut? Now, Bill, I could really use a trim. We could do it in my garage. Now, I'm only allowed to cut hair at the base. The U.S. Ah, Army spent right, $3 okay. million dollars training me. Forget the what arm. The fuck? Three million? Well, you know, you know the calculation Bill was doing in his notebook. You never know. They might have spent that much amount of money. Boomhauer and I love our girl. Yeah, man, I tell you what, man, little old girl, man, talking a mile a minute, man, little old girl, hell, little old girl, little old girl, little old girl, like, slow down, man, little old girl, no, mo no moose, no jail, man, let's just shower and go, man. Okay. With Who me, it's guy? all about speed. I don't even have to take my hat off. <laughs> you don't need to. You don't need to. You don't have anything up there. Yeah, I will get out of here. Fuck that. That sort of music, fuck that shit. Heck no, not worth it. That's <laughs> what the fuck him. did they that's do? Hank Hill. Oh God. <laughs> that, and that's your friend. What's the money for? It's ten percent of what you save the army by eliminating government waste. This way, <laughs> I like the old haircut better. <laughs> <laughs> it cost him nine hundred dollars, though. Sir, would the captain like me to throw the lieutenant out of the chair, sir? Yes, Sergeant. Please. I have bad news. The base is disbanding the barber unit. What? They think we're inefficient. Petition to reinstate has been filed, but you've been asking billions of dollars just for hairdresser from the government. I got no place else to go. <laughs> <laughs> Take his job away, though. What's he gonna do now? Thirty-nine hundred dollars. God damn. We could get a new roof just for the heck of it. <laughs> <laughs> you eliminated Bill, Bill Eliminator. What? What? The army shut down the sergeant barbers. Now Bill has no. Just because he had a haircut. Is that real, Crystal? Just hey, look! It. You can make a prism. <laughs> Cutting hair to cutting bushes. What has life become? The army made me a barber. It's theirs to take away. Oh. Bill, you're an artist. You do yeah, things you, with hair that I've only seen shop. other people do with... It's time to open your own shop. Charge 50 bucks. And then I'd just be a barber. And I wouldn't be cutting hair for my country. No, I'd just... But you'd be cutting hair for your country people. And Dale has something he wants to tell you. Um, okay, they're auctioning off Bill's old barber equipment today. Why not open a shop, Bill? Oh. And, oh, and it's all your fault. Try and oh, look surprised. <laughs> oh, my God. She's a, she's a horrible woman. You're a fucking horrible wife. Why would you say it like that to your husband? Okay, who here knows how to cut hair? Don't answer. It's a trick. Why would they spending that much amount of money? Only just one barber? First item number 4801, Army Barber Chair. Originally $80,000. I'm going to start the bidding at $2. $3. <laughs> $4. Mm -hmm. Oh. $5. Come on. You take this guy out. $5. $6. Oh. <laughs> Come on, seven. $2,999. How did we get there? No, I'll be honest. I get $20 if I sign you up. <laughs> I'll give you half of it. Don't reeve. In. Now. Don't reeve. Go. Yeah, don't reeve. We need you back. Got rid of the old chair, expensive one. Actual mission is to stand at this privately donated chair. Oh. Which does not exist, do you understand me? And do I the really only thing it. you're good at. But sir, what What if somebody sees? Don't ask, don't tell. And will, they, will they still pay Bill? They need to still pay him though. Hmm? I'm gonna need the combs and the jar. <laughs> 
So, Hank. Hank. Let's sit down. I don't know how to. There's no time. The Strickland Christmas card shoot is in an hour. <laughs> I need the haircut. Weak. Commence cutting. Yes, sir. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so Army have money to spend on arcade games. Right, let's take this thing. Wait. <laughs> That's better. There you go. Merry Christmas. Alrighty, people. So that was Hag's bad hair day. So people were just cutting his hair shit, making him look ridiculous because he wants the proper hair that he's been getting, you know, proper haircut that he's been getting for the past 20 years. The same exact one every week. Fucking army took $900 for that haircut. My God. They just spent money on the ridiculous shit. Fuck, no, nobody needs that sort of money. A billion dollars just for a haircut. What the fuck you need for a billion dollars for that hair chair? For that chair? Which got sold for like $3,000, isn't it? And will they still pay a bill? That's what I want to know. Didn't see Luann in this, but we did see Peggy being a bitch again. You know, why would you talk to your husband like that? Why don't you just support the husband? No, he just had to be a bitch about it. How come an army spent that much amount of money for like it? Bill studies. God knows where this money is going. Not going on the haircut. Not going on the studies. No, no, no. God knows. But yeah, that's been it for today, guys. Hope you all have a great day. Like this video, share, subscribe, and I will see you back tomorrow.